let us get to your stock pick for today. Where are you finding opportunity? So I think an interesting one to talk about today is uh, PDD uh, or Pindodo. Uh, I think most South Africans will probably be more familiar with Temu, which yeah, is, yeah. Uh, so it's an online e-commerce business, um, a relatively new entrance, if I can say that. Having said that, you know, revenues are north of $30 billion, so, so not a small business. Mm. But I think an interesting one in that they are different to, say, an Amazon, that their model is very much driven on direct-to-manufacture operations. Um, obviously, very cheap prices is, is mm -hmm. kind of what they built the business on. Um, and I think an interesting one to keep keep an eye on. It's obviously been beaten up over the last I month. I can see, yeah. yeah. It's down significantly. So they came out with results, which again, similar to, uh, I don't want to put them in the same boat as NVIDIA, but pretty good results. You know, earnings growth, you know, they, they, they're growing. Um, yeah. But I think again, you disappoint the market or your earnings growth can be good, but just yeah. not good enough. And you get quite a significant re-rating there. So over the longer term, still comfortably up, but um, a little bit hurt over the last year. But I think one to keep an eye on. Um, always with Chinese companies, you know, political risk is a factor to keep in mind. Mm. And that's kind of balancing that against, you know, the valuation. As um, mm. you compare it to comparable companies in the US, uh, the valuation is, is much more attractive. There obviously are risks, but um, there's always risk in investing. And it's a case of trying to balance uh, risk versus reward. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us insight on what has been moving investors' money today. That was Jordan Toy from Legacy Family Wealth.